Sorcery up in these woods. It's going to be a trap heavy set if Lunar gets their way. We'll have to see how this one goes. Cryla starts off with a jump in. Lunar's gonna take control of the neutral screen. And so far, just straight hits being traded. No one really converting from these counter hit 6XLs. Boy, playing nice and slow, but we'll get the grab to start things off. But Krylos in a beautiful anti here as well. Oh, girl, we already get started. Bait the DP, we get the punish oh. with the 5H, but oh, we no have punish. to cancel the first hit. You let the both hits of the 5H rocket. It's not special cancelable once you get that second hit, so you gotta cancel it early. Trylaws, oh, some damage on the table. Okay, all right, some spaghetti here. So the trap, we go for a little tick throw, shimmy, Trylaws not biting. So we say, all right, if you're not biting, I'm throwing you. Catch him at the ankles. Like that, we'll bite this time. Oh, but we hit the combo limit to drop out the super. Oh, that feels mucho bad. We somehow got an airborne hit off of the trap, so we immediately went into the air combo, scaling for Grand Blue. That man, Lunar, had to cancel him to the Skybound art a little earlier, didn't happen, and so Krylos is going to take a robbery for round one. Now he's going to start off in the corner. Lunar find their way through, teleport to the other side. How about that? Oh. Nice air attack, but Black of the Doom not quite gonna get anything from it though. DP gets javaded. And Lunar, look at look, trying to catch out as much damage as possible. Will the super land this time? Yes, it will. God damn, that's just gonna share for the kill. Why is Kai down here doing all this, doing all this damage? You're gonna be like that, huh? We're gonna fade back, it's a little launch. Start applying some of these traps, and Cryo's asking a simple question What do you think I'm gonna do? Nothing? Uh, hold this pin. But Lunar again in firm control. Intercepts the jump in and yes, gets a full beautiful confirm. That's so sick to see. Our full link. Command oh, reset as well. Reset. Command grab. Prylos, able to get a little bit of Shaman 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 here. Trying to close out, see if they can take the first game here in top eight. And so far, there's one touch away. Can they finish the skybound? They're still alive, but let's see what they can do afterwards. Guess for game, right? Strike throw. And we wake up with body copy. Spare body, rather. Oh! The confirm it to the trap, and Lunar taking game one. Get the pick off of the calculated. With us in Losers Top 8, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe we are best of five all the way through this Top 8. Players have been fighting. Two whole hours to get to here. We're giving the long sets so the adjustments take place. So we're gonna have plenty of Grand Blue Rising action happening here. Crylaws getting off and started. Oh, we try to go for like an early cancel. We went to the light DP. Doesn't really link off of that 5 page the first hit. Oh my god. Lunar big confirm. And great corner carry as well. Trap set up and quarter screen. But the stomp from Krylons just doesn't care. So straight TP, oh my goodness. <laughs> right, Krylons now with the extension. Got blessed, got schmicks. Krylons taking the round. Execution there, Krylons. Up around again, back and forth sets so far. It's really been a series of violent choices. Here we go, get the command throw again, Lunar. 0 for 2 for evading those. Oh my gosh, just a folk. Just a little poke, launching with the calculator. We're setting up the collapse, building it up with a charge fire. We deal with the teleport pretty seamlessly, but wake up, Mash from Lunar. All right, I see you. Good tech on the throw. 6XL six, six, says, I'm getting back in here. You can't make me get off. Grab him, launch him. Dragon strike. End this out with the Skybound Art Lunar, I think, living with a pixel yet again. Hey, bro, all you need is a pixel and a dream. Oh, that dream can be achieved. All right, never mind. The dream is dead. Listen, man. The dream is dead. <laughs> that 2M does kill dreams. You hear me? Plus yep. on block. Any dreams I had, I'm mashing out of that. Gone. Dead. Done. Hey, man, he needs it. He needs it. He needs it. Hey, listen, I didn't say otherwise. <laughs> Take the DP, we get the punish as well. Lunar gonna get a good launch here, trying to set up something, but Krylaw's gonna brave counter the 6XL, a guaranteed way of dealing with that pressure. Over three on evading the command throw. Whoa. Yo, my spare body says, let me out of here. 
feel the air trap? Yeah, if there was a confirm off of that, I would lost my mind. Oh, nice to stop the yard, we'll get blocked. 5H, oh, Lunar, one touch is all they need. There we go, got the hit that they need. Mm -hmm. Was able to run, jump up, crush either a mash or a throw tech. Right, Lunar trying to move up 2-1 in the set. Uh, to finish it out, Nice confirming to the trap. Oh, but immediate guard cancel. Cross one to spin the Bravia point nice and early. Oh, but a challenge from Lunar. He's trying to keep him honest. Said, Don't you overextend on me just yet, my friend. Go count me out. All right. Leave the pressure again with a brave counter. Oh, yo, he dropped directly on the trap. I don't think I don't think that was the uh, the uh, the game plan there. But Krylos will make a small mistake, and Lunar goes up two to one in the set. Amazing how quickly the tides can turn in this game. A little delay on the fall. Gonna get us some pressure right here, but we mash back out. Krylos now with the combo. Just takes a simple ender this time, not trying to go for a cheeky throw reset. Spare body, get off of me. Go ahead and spend that extra brave point. We're only down to one now, taking an extra 20%. But Krylos says, listen, if I don't get hit, it don't matter. Action. No fear. Cash out with the super as well. Try to take as much damage as they possibly can. Prismatic glasses. That's OD. He is going to get a break point back. He's going to use oh. it immediately. Lunar can't take out of this, but there's no conversion available. We didn't have the meter for the raging oh, uh, chain. No. Overhead. Maybe he was hoping for some sort of counter hit. But Krylos, take another round. Alright, Krylos again, winning a round, but just hasn't been able to close out the set. Lunar just able to get some of their own offense starting. Again, a lot of the decision making with when they time the reversals has been on point. Krylos yet to really sniff that out and get a full punish, at least since game one. Resets again! Full pickup as well, we just launched him, we're gonna spend it. I agree, get his damage. Get the big boy cash out. Oh my god, but nope. Able to get out with two point trade, but the crowd will get the anti air. Krylos on the board. Alright, we the launch here. Take up the trap, we trigger it. Oh, my Lord. Lunar was not okay. expecting the counter, and so their preemptive move right, to then. deal with. That was sick. That was so sick. Launch as well. Krylos oh. now cooking with gas. Krylos kind of cooking right now. Oh no. You dropped something on the floor, oh. chef. Oh! Side that was kind of sick. Lunar is him. Nice guard cancel from Krylos. Strike him back. Baits out the reversal. Lunar's gonna mash this time, though, playing that RPS perfectly. Anna airs with the jab. He'll stabilize with a raging strike. Set point now for Lunar. Can they close it out with this Cagliostro? All right. I believe, I believe. Lunar has received some very high praise from Kilvins as the best Cag in North America. Huh? Yo, let's go, Lunar. Big boy damage. Oh my god, you got mixed confirming to the trap. And Lunar taking it. Moving on into winners. Oh no, my far. Loses quarters. Oh, loses semis. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Loses quarters. I was getting mixed. Always wins it out. If you are sim if you play a grapple, you are simply him slash them slash her. You can do it, baby. All you gotta do is initiate the gripping. And then it's all downhill from there. Smooth sailing, some might say. And all right, here we go. The round starts gonna be very important for setting the pace of the tone. Both fighters yep. will back off, play nice and slow, and Nikotek, well, this is their favorite range to play. But now we're in Yoshi's. Up with the acid rain. Bro, we are seeing the headbutts. We're just like preemptively saying, don't yeah, come just, here. This is no oh. fly zone. No fly zone, girl. I'm headbanging. Necrotech with a straight up DP. 
Going directly into the Lariat Super is not quite going to hit too far away. He's just going to duck right underneath it. Again, Nico Tech doing fantastic. Trying to use these headbutts to deal with the projectiles. <laughs> Yo, this is something I like seeing this from Yoshi because we did not ah. really see this from Uber Cheesecake. And so Yoshi's saying, listen, there are so many valid approaches. Yep. Just be harder. There you go, like it ha realized they have to play it safe because of the butterflies. Oh, they tried to do something, not able to get out. It looks like they potentially tried to super, but was not able to get up quick enough. The Professor Necrotech will take the round. That is like every grappler's problem. You have if you have a problem, if either command grab it or headbutt, and the problem will suddenly go away. Professor Necrotech will slightly let Yoshi out the corner. Loving the headbutt coming in. Good block on the brave counter, but still plus one block. Able to power buff through the ultimate arrows. Oh, but nice back throws. Oh, back throw right back. Yoshi still having a lot of trouble. And they're also oh, no, down. Oh, the brave boy just going to pull up on him like that? I mean, sometimes just... you gotta do it, right? And oh, oh, no. no. Every command ah. grappler well dream the anti jump super throw. Can we get it? Three. Oh. Damn it. Bruh. Toxic. No bravery points, it. baby. No bravery points. Bro, that is a champion. That's the world heavyweight champion. You think that's not going to kill? The Diva's the heavyweight champ for a reason, baby. Goodness gracious. Yo, she's getting They're on the amazing. board. I mean, you look at Matera, you know, she's a little thin. Can't really bear oh, yeah. all that girth. Here we go, Yoshi. Oh, what a mashup. But no, Garkin's going to right back. Keep him honest. Keep him honest, trying to navigate these things. We get the jump in. Short little pickup, nothing too crazy off of it. Just due to the nature of the hit itself. And now Nekotech trying to just chip away at Yoshi's life. Yoshi just saying headbutt, headbutt to it. Ooh, Nico's almost scared to throw projectiles. I don't like, oh, know. Yep. I say Yoshi's gonna have to time these headbutts a little bit better. It feels like they're trying to do a call up. I wanna see if they can actually react to them. There we go, the reaction's in. Brave the media guard can't hold it. Yo, said, back it up, Chief, back it up. Oh, Yoshi, no, not gonna get the full confirm on Neko Tech's behalf. Oh, oh, and we imported throw by mistake. Got caught by really the acid like rain. That. It really be like that. Maybe I'll give the jewel Professor Nekotech taking game one. Victory. Battle one. one of the two Matera players in the top eight. This is the one that got seated into loser's side after the bracket results. Yoshi, our last Ladiva representative in the bracket, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to keep oh. the character diversity alive. I'm blacking out, blacking out. Go for the old oh, nice dodge on the old player. Yoshi for the win, trying to try to help with the arrows, but not quite working out too well um, in their favor right now. So, fun fact, Koji Coco, everyone would pick up. Roll is the same speed, except the Diva, who has a slower forward roll. That's the fun She's fact. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. That's the fun fact. It's 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 universal except the Diva. She's slower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yoshi is really struggling right now in this matchup. Alright, we'll get the guard cancer. Try to create a little bit of space. See if they can create some sort of oaky guess on wake up scenario. But Professor Tech is mashing because they know so far away. Uh huh? I'm loving the dashes from Yoshi, but just go sit right back to full screen. Ultimate layer will get spot dodge. Yoshi's gonna have to find a new way to approach in the neutral game. Miss time spot dodge will get clipped by the acid rain yet again. Nico Tech, I think, is just so dialed in. I think Yoshi is always sending it in one way or another, whether it's trying to headbutt the projectiles to armor through them or trying to neutral skip with the ultimate elegant lariat. Like Nico Tech just knows when to put a little bit of break on the zoning to set up that whiff punish. Like on God, Nico Tech is playing immaculate right now. Yes. Oh, nice air, nice anti air. The clash. Yoshi was ready. 
bullshit baiting, but that's a plus on block option. Nice guard cancel. Oh, but Yoshi now down to one BP. Trying to do everything they can to keep Professor, Professor Neko take the corner. Right now it is working, but and now we're back to mid screen. We're right back to square one. And look at this Nico Roll, we'll get the well. roll ahead, and it says you're gonna be right here where my foot's gonna kick your face. Gorgeous. Oh, he tried. Yoshi tried, but Professor Nectar will land the grab and will now sit at set point. Right, Ask Rain Black. Yoshi able to headbutt the arrows, but still struggling to get anything real started. Like, they take one step forward, two steps back. There's that mash. Yeah, there we go. go. It's time for the first time, but Professor Nectar is just mashing. Refusing to get grabbed. Somehow Nekotech was able to land in time, so instead of getting like a fatal counter hit, air launcher 2H, Yoshi just somehow got a grounded counter hit 2H. Not really getting like the best of that right situation. Yep. And now we're still in Nekotech's world. We're down to only one break point, so if Yoshi's somehow able to get in, he's gonna hurt like hell. But it's oh. Nekotech who makes the first move. Yeah, that's coming in. Try to head, but try to. Trying to call out the arrows, but no, they're not quite going to work out. Professor Nexus is just changing the face of their zone. He did not even give them the chance to make it work. And Yoshi just one touch away. They keep walking into the butterfly back in. in the roll. Punished. They bet it all, and Professor just said, You're still dancing on my tempo. You're still a puppet on my string. With the Siegfried, I hope someone was able to get him the tech that he also desired. Sending it in with My the GX Fireball. Here to clear the gap. He's starting to strike throw. It's like, all right, well, now you're in. So now you just got to play that Siegfried strike throw game. We get the setup with the meaty plus frames. Senpai will say, get off of me. Nice spot dodge on the special fireball. Now Senpai Spider with this pickup. No fear that was eyes. Nice and slow play. But again, one of the things about Grand Blue is that you don't really have dash block as an option. You have some recovery frames, a slide animation. You can cancel into your dash attacks, of course, as well as a roll forward and an evade yep. in place. But, you know, that also opens up to some additional risks. Yep. Reach gets the hit, Worse. converts beautifully Worse. off the 2S. Worse so a walk block, if you will. But Freege able to get a big start to take him to the corner, go for the safe jump, but the mash from Senpai Spider. The media guard cancel from Freege, we're both down in one touch. Yo, that was Senpai a big Spire. scramble right there. The Spire has full bar though. He does have the advantage. Reach. Trying to work their way up. Chip kill is an issue, but the combo is going to do it. Yep. Senpai Spire taking round one. Barely though, but you will take it. Ooh, try to try evade to through, but Senpai Spire moved forward with Punish It. He's Freeze now. 2M, no conversion. Oh, nice trying to stay out the sweet range, but still, navigating things start. DP will whiff, but Senpai Spider, no pun it, is trying to air dash you to throw. Not quite going to work out in his favor. Oh, but Freak's taking a lot of damage right here. You can feel there's a little bit of antsiness to it. Now they're content to try and block this way through, but this is all chip damage. That's one thing about, like, Siegfried in some of these matchups here is that if he gets in, he's a powerhouse to deal with, but getting in can be half the battle. He gets the hard knockdown with a perfectly timed fireball. Tries to go for a huge read on the... Brave counters, sent by Spider, just keeps their cool, says I don't need a wiggle just yet. Will whiff punish the evade. Goes up game one. Oh, here we go. Still by Spider already going. Trying to go for a more fast paced offense and neutral here in game two, but DP will come out from Breach though. So unfortunately, Jimmy come in open, trying to get something started. We'll get the level up as well. Good tech. Try to match, but Senpai Spider will still match again. No fear. This was not a hero. Oh, Senpai Spider. Said, oh, okay. Bad. I'll DP right back. So get off of me. What? Right. Oh. Close the gap. Good walk back from Spider. Evade. Good tech. Oh, but yes, we did. Gotta the respect steel. the butterflies. Freeze not respecting the butterflies, will get shot in the process and will die to the super. Oh no! Would say. Still very dire situation. 
Big jumping! No, good no, but it's wrong! Gotcha! Next time. God damn, Freeze. How could you? The drop of the century. That is a huge mental blow. I hope Freeze is able to compose themselves, shake it off, and focus on what they gotta do to win the rest of this set. Sent by Spider, setting up the mix. It's gonna get cooking here in the corner. Turn up the heat a little bit. Never so minor frame trap able to bait out an option there. Freeze again getting these hits, but not believing in them. Not trying to convert, trying to play at that high level, but sometimes some scrambles are happening. Oh, big jump in. from he the top, this time. Bro. Hello? But where's the special follow-up? He gets it right here. Run, goes for a shimmy. So then we got the... Nice slow pokes coming in, trying to block out through the butterfly. 6SL coming in, free shine, gets something started. Only needs one hit, but the mash from Ultimate Senpai Spider. And Senpai Spider goes up 2-0. Just sending out the arrows, and you know what? The only option Siegfried could have done there would have been his counter, I think, but I can't. I know it loses the supers. I can't remember if it's able to at least deal with projectiles, and that might have been some of the matchup. I'm going to double check that one real quick because. I see the brilliance of Senpai Spider's yeah. choice. Like, okay, if you go back in the stance, you're like negative seven, I can catch that with with this ultimate fireball. All right, Freeze on lockdown in the corner, respecting the butterflies, trying to dash black, walk black, trying to do something to get out of this corner, but Senpai Spider not letting him leave. No movement in the slides, but Freeze will find a 6 6 L. Take him all the way to the corner. Counter from Siegfried, I just looked it up. It does lose to projectiles and two supers. So that arrow could have been a call out on a counter attempt from uh, Freege, but I think it caught the punishment or him pressing the next button. Super smart choice either way from Senpai. Freege trying to make this work. Closing the gap. Perfectly Ooh, timed fireball with a hard knockdown. Gets the throw no punish. Shimmy. Raging strike for the launch. He's out of meter, but he's not oh, out of damage. We'll get the kill. Freege staying alive. Get one more hit and get a point on the board. Senpai Spider trying to turn up the heat already. Another clutch jump in by Freege. Oh eight. my Two gosh, damage. what a 2H. He gets the link as well, but he drops Open the drop. Open the drop. DB, get off of me. Gonna go for that. He looks for that immediate brave counter again. Senpai Spider is so good at picking the moments where Senpai is doing the immediate brave counter, it's at guaranteed points where there isn't anything Freege can do. When Freege can potentially bait it, Senpai doesn't bite. Watch those interactions. Ugh! Freege only needs one more hit to take home the game. Oh, Miss Input? Oh. He gets a hard knockdown, he has to close the gap with the fireball! Oh my gosh! Speechless. Game stop trade? Oh my god, the pixel in a dream from Senpai Spider Baby. And he sits at set point. God damn! Rage is doing so well to get in, which is coming down to some of these clutch decision making between him, himself and Senpai. We get the jump in. It's gonna be a combo. Set up the seals at the very end. Catch him low. Black Quiet, he's trying, but Freeze just almost looked like he's at a loss again. What do I do? He's trying to weather out the storm, look for the next opportunity. Right, he's oh, got no. that special fireball he can send. Goes to the super. It's too no, far it's too short. I love the idea. The range is a little bit off. What's the blight? Andre that Robocop, you did see my egg drop. I got some sesame chicken too and some rice. Y'all are up on Chinese food. I need gas to get to the rest of this bracket because y'all are spending it. All right, have a nice day. Already starting off big. I blink once. Kilman's already locked down in the corner. DP whiffing as well. Four play for the launch. Look at that damage. Well, Kilman's actually opening up with the Avatar Belial. So Lance watch. Good lord. And the damage. Just go forever. It's an anime combo. Perfect. on screen. Why did I do so much damage? <laughs> Battle two. What do you mean I did all the damage? <laughs> Man. 2H, yo, we're just ready. Have a nice day saying, listen, Avatar Belial, you should you should go back to your reserved self. Live 
Ah! And with the stomp out, Dark Cancel from Have a Nice Day. I get some dash pressure start, but Kilman's not having any of it. Have a nice day. Zero BP has to be a little bit careful. Spinning all the bar and the ultimate fireballs. And we just spend a raging strike that completely hits nothing. Have a nice day, game one. My goodness. Have a nice day. Kind of seam rolling right now. Kind of speed runs. Die kick will get blocked. Have a nice day with a beautiful challenge. The whiff punish on the whiff normal side. Oh my god, kill this with the whiff DP. Oh, Kilvin trying to find the right way to wiggle out, but not quite working. Have a nice day, just completely on point with all their reads for when Kilvin wants to wiggle. Oh, oh god. But that will land, catch the landing recovery. Alright, that's that's correct. I mean, I get it. You you press three buttons, no no special inputs, I think. I didn't see the technical input on the side, but that's still so correct. To be ready for that situation and to have that reaction in place, that's a sign of a top level player. Have a nice day. Represent Canada tonight. With their start GG profiles accurate. Alright, have a nice day. Still holding firm control over the maps. Not even giving Kilvins the chance to get anything started. And I mean, you saw like Kilvins barely got a 2L, 2L out that actually did hit have a nice day, but there was no follow up, no cancel, no confirm off of it. There's a bit of a lack of self esteem, I think, in Kilvins' play right now, where they almost don't expect them themselves to get the hit. And they need to find that confidence to really run it back. Oh, the frame uh -huh. trap right there. Brave counter oh, a second time. One touch is all having that same needs. Oh, oh, nice read on the fireball. But oh. wake up, DP! You had to hard call <laughs> it out with a dodge to evade. Instead, Kilvin tries to force the situation. Have a nice day, says, you're not paying attention to that life bar, my friend. Yep, Kilvin's going to a character swap. Question is, who will they pick? See Lancelot, we got the S S K in chat saying, Oh, this is the Lucilius I fought online every time. Oh, and speaking of, of the devil, yeah, speaking of the devil, Kilmans will pull up with the Lucilius. Let's see if that will make that much Believe of a victory. difference. Because right now Avernize Day is on a roll. Engage. We will, but this is the newer character. We have to see if have a nice day. He's ready for it. I imagine they are. They're playing Grand at this level. They probably have Pass all the knowledge checks and yep. taking that test. But again, there's that double 2-2-L two, two and there's no follow-up, there's no special buffer into it to get Kelvin's plenty of reward when they get the successful little jabs out. Just some of those differences at the top level of play. Of course, I say this about a master rank. <laughs> yep. Oh! Have a nice day. Still keeping the heat turned up. I love the way they deal pressure with the corner. Playing it nice and slow and trying to not overcommit and let the opponent kill themselves with their own decisions. Nice punish. You have a nice day. With the challenge, should be able to close out this round and move up to set point. Let's see if they can finish it out. The Lucilius pick not quite working out so far. He was able to get a little bit so so sorry last round. Let's see if they can finish it out this time around. Have a nice day. Ready with the immediate throw check earlier. That was so just gorgeous. Yep. Kilvins does have a little bit of a life leap, but now they're cornered. This is not the right now. Mm -hmm. They do have the ability. They had the ability to represent that ultimate phosphorus for the DP, but not so much anymore. Get off of me. Oh! Immediate brave strike. Raging strike. Now have a nice day. No BP left in the tank, but you know, Kelvin's, I think that have a nice day would dodge if you try to go for that raging strike, so hold on to it. Check him with the dash. And very solid damage from him as well. Looking with essentially one touch territory. If he was able to confirm that hit, that could have been it. So have a nice day seeing at zero BP. Has to be a little bit careful. Counter hit, but not quite believing in the hit though. We get the mash, but again, no conversion. Where it is, Raging oh. Strike, we got the meter! Gilvin finds the right moment, gets around on the board with his Lucilius. Can the devil himself make the comeback? 
God, that, that went so far. That race strike went so far. Alright. Nova's looking to get a little bit of something, something started. Honestly, a great start for Kilbins. Finds himself corner now, though, so have a nice day. With the right pickup, can equalize his health. Baits out the phosphorus, but no pickup. Brave counter, get off of me. Point gone for each side. Woo! Corporal Blade. A very good damage from the side of Have a Nice Day. Still looking for that one hit to try to close out the game. Plus on block, respecting it. Brave counter once we see him commit deeper to the string. Oh, the goes low after the O-Red, and that should do it. Full pick up here, 20% oh, extra no. damage coming to your old health bar. Yeah, Pixel. yeah, that's good. Nah, that yeah, is yeah. it. Crazy. Have a nice day, taking it. Believe in victory. Let's see if we can get a better result than last time. Oh, Breach already starting off big, just gonna run at him just like that. Get some offense started, that's Lunar. They're gonna enough. retaliate in kind, raging strike into the chain. To Get a full launch and a combo. Get the meaty set up. Get off of me, he says. A lot of two you representation from Freege as well, using the slower startup of the normal to try and frame trap a throw, leading into either a sweep or a reaction cancel with a special move. Throw's gonna work out here for Lunar. We tech it this time. Frame trap perfectly. Should be a dead sick read. Oh yeah, that's how it's dead. Super dead, if you will. Alright, Luna striking first blood so far in this set. Trigger the trap. Try to find the next hit. EX Fireball. Gonna run in there using that 2S. 2U. 6XL to interrupt Cagliostra. Uh huh. Hot dodge, that was sick. But, Creech with the full pickup. Get the combo as well. How do you want to end this one? Into Super? Yes. Yep. Nah, full on in. There's Bates a big boy game coming in. I'm not able to get anything from it though, from the bait. <laughs> oh, trying to roll, but not able to get the full confirm to punish. Oh, DP blocks. Lunar out of Lunar's going to dream. Yeah. Lunar's trying to squeeze out as much damage as he can. What's the Oki setup? There is no Oki setup because the ultimate, ultimate DP comes in mad clutch for free. Yeah, Lunar committed to the first initial dodge, looking to either cover a Brave Counter or that DP to make it with, but Free smart enough to delay it just enough to then catch it where it's more likely Lunar's gonna be either coming out of a recovery or, you know, done looking for it. Because, again, like, in that chip situation, you have to commit immediately. And Free taking advantage of it. But now it's Lunar running the offense in the corner. Set up here, block the overhead, get off of me. It's a Brave Counter. Ooh, air, next. Guy blocked in the noodle free, sitting at a pixel in a dream. You, can't you forgot about the spear by your feet, my friend. The Lunar taking game one. Didn't see that one coming, did you? No, no one ever does. Booby traps work for a reason. No one looks for them. Gets them every time. Oh, we tried a brave counter, but we had a little gap in the offense, so... A second frame trap right here. Free just doing all kinds of wiggling on defense. Get the setup here. She really just dropped a statue of herself on him. You're like, you know how savage that is? Ella, like, it's not even me hitting you. It's the likeness of me. Reversal. Spare body. Oh, good tech on the throw. Yeah, out here mashing. And we black at the EX record. Good tech on the throw as well. But the match going in back clutch yet again. No immediate match. Oh. We try to go for a rating oh. strike, but it's a throw. It's a throw. He was just vibing. He was ready for it. Lunar trying to take us up to O. Can they finish it up? No anti air there from Freege. The range was a little awkward for 2H. We'll get the 5H hit. Oh, we get punished on the fireball. Potentially on the anti air that we were trying to recover from. It's a counter, not punish. 
so coming in not able to do much freeze getting mashed on six cell pressure that does not feel too good oh blocking it out and freeze gonna go down two to zero winner only one game away from moving to loser semis and they squeeze it out oh we're going low dig deep like freeze Brave counter is going to whiff. The throw, however, will connect. The offense started. We catch him jumping. The great delay, five heavy. Those heavy normals very useful when you're trying to run that close offense game because you do want to leave a gap sometimes for your opponents to wiggle so you can catch them. If you leave it all gapless, you might be. Oh. It might have been a fuzzy jump that you let you know stuff before it could come up. Oh, bust out the super, but the no spot dodge will keep him safe. Hold this. Great point. Get back in this Bro. corner, young lady. We block the brave counter. We have to hold. Bruh, one button and a super? Why are you like this? Why did I kill? Oh, he had no year, like no BB. It really be like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But because of that, Luz is now sitting at set point and stuffing out the counter from Freege. Oh boy. Oh nah, Freege is on tilt. I can see it. He's trying to bang his head up against the wall, hoping something will happen. To you, but oh, Luger just steals gosh. a turn right back. That was a gross spare the body. Clash. The throw? The double clash into the throw. And it was that ain't right. That ain't right, y'all. You, you reacted to the second clash with a throw, and then because you had a trap, you got a combo. Still has some of those rush down elements. But with a bit more risk to it. But let's see if Kilvis can clean it up. Let's see if he can take it home. All right. Uh, trying to get the dives through here. Nekotech. Playing at the favorite range. Full screen. Kilvin's trying to find the way to the Oh, shout out to the sky. Yo, this is like, listen. Yeah. You're corny. <laughs> you're stupid. Avatar Belial. Were you an airbender? Get out of my face. Looking like news of that live action adaptation in the works that we're all doom and glooming about, man. Every bit of news just makes me depressed about it. Kilvin's on life support, able to bust their way inside, though. But now chip kill is a factor. We catch him jumping, not able to convert. Raging strike, we'll get the last blip. We just go right back in. Kilvin's ain't no shot, right? We dropped the combo. I knew it. There was <laughs> definitely no shot. <laughs> I'm gonna say, man, if they made that comeback, I would have been at a loss of words. Uh, yep. Press the Echo Tech taking round one, striking first blood. Hey, Kilvin's getting some high pressure down the corner. Catch the Professor Tech trying to mash. There you go. Try catching mashing again. We'll force out the two for one trade. Teleport right back and stop pressing Neko Tech. Not fast enough to challenge, and Neko Tech just got all to death in the corner right there. Battle three. I've been able to swing back. Oh, DP, Jabate. Now, what are you doing, my friend? Nice air arrow will stop Kilvin trying to do an on spin move. Put him on lockdown in the corner. You can't move. Maximum security, solitary confinement. You try to walk out, you get shot. Look at him. Listen, Look man, at him. Try to jump out. Damn. Look at that. Put him on lockdown. Professor this... Nekotech taking game one. This ain't strive, man. You can't go out the corner the other way. You got to come to me, and I ain't letting you do that. Oh, is this the immediate character switch? Possibly so. Yeah, Yo, another? Yeah. He said, I'm not having any of this time forward. He said, nope, no mas. Yeah, I'm at no mas. My man locked in Siegfried. He's like, listen, Fridge, I got your matchup right here. Watch. Boy said, I'm just not going to deal with this. Just straight up. Counterpicking the Siegfried into Matera. I'm very interested to see how this is going to play out. Yeah, that boy chef said, I don't get paid enough for this shit. Believe no mas. Victory. Battle one. Engage. Right. And started with a nice Siegfried color. Nikotech getting a little bit of pokes in. And now, once we again, Kilvin's fine. We got Blonde Siegfried, brother. Get him out of here. Get the Blonde Siegfried out of here. <laughs> yeah. 
Brunette silver blondes? My man, I knew I loved you. Yes, sir. Oh, you block in the cracker. All good. Pressing that say getting out the joint, but no, we'll get clipped by, by the fireball. Dimitri Fire Emblem Siegfried. Unblockable. Nice spot dodge. dodge. But we we'll still got the hit out of it? Yep. We got caught trying to mash after the spot. Okay, so dodge. when I do that, I get punished every time. When Kilvin <laughs> does it, he gets a cut. Okay. Well, I it's know simply I'm not him. There we go. Gets the hit this time. All right, now we got to wait for the ready. fireballs. Kilvin's just taking it slow. We Ooh, get punished. I like that ultimate special usage. Seeing out the next wave of fireflies. Huh. Trying to advance yeah. forward. Kivlin's got the light lead, but 40 seconds oh, on the clock to bleed. <laughs> I'm say, oh, work. oh my goodness. Oh, chip kill range. Little little That's, antsy. Yeah, has to be careful. And now Nico Tech has free range to just fill the screen with uh, fireballs, right? Jovis, because they're going to be Jovis. able to neutralize the hits. Jovis can throw this, though. It has to be super careful. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow. Professor Nico Tech has to get a little bit closer. There's Again, no with the right same interaction. <laughs> Now it's Kelvin's a chip range. No, no, my gosh. He threw it away. That's, crazy. That's crazy. He threw it away. He got antsy trying to go for the chip kill on a preemptive read instead of reacting. And Nikotech understood the assignment. Did not disappoint. Straight A's. Most unfortunate. Gets in. Gets to run his game. Doesn't have a follow-up after that link. Brave counter. Get off of me. Nikotech not wanting to play that RPS. Somehow able to spot dodge to react to that ultimate fireball. Kilvin's got the life lead. Just needs to close the gap. Uh. Some of these timings are a little off in Kilvin's. Okay. Run under. That's crazy. Anticipating that you know they're gonna try to trigger the upward seal, so they were able to run under. What a spot Ooh, dodge! Beautiful Press spot dodge, but no, but no punish for it though. Unfortunately. Nah, I don't really think you have the resources there as Matera to really get anything yeah. substantial. Like you, you were out of a uh, break point, so. Raging Strike wasn't an option for you. You didn't have Super Meter as well to just go, you know, like tap light jab into Super. And I'm not sure what the other specials would have even linked out of it, but, you know, still showing that you can't hit me with it. Send it. Advance. And Brave Cannon. Oh. We go for it again. I said it wasn't going to work. Gilvin yeah. said, bet. Oh, oh, wait, he lives. Yeah. I will not tech the throw. Gilvin staying alive so far. He's not folding just yet. Oh, we dropped, we dropping the sword on him. Plus frame. Every fireball staying plus. We're trying to time our follow up to punish. We oh, get okay. Close range. Jab check, beautiful stuff. We block the overheads. Get off of me, we say. Unblockable setup, but Professor Nikotech again respecting him when they probably have a chance to take a turn, but I don't blame him for not trying after somehow Kilvin's got the hit. Yep. The last interaction. Good tack on the empty jump throw. Oh, okay. Press the neck Matera's with the ultimate fireball better. Back to back ultimate fireballs. Not letting it happen. The snipes are too good. Brave counter. Kilvin's is now both sides actually completely out of brave points. It's going to take a skybound art if we even get that far to bring those into play again. Huh? Gets a hard oh knockdown. Finally gets the right time. Base the oh, DP as well. This but again, the combo routing is a little bit limited. We didn't oh. have Rage Strike. Punish. Oh my gosh! Yeah, not really able to link anything. Can we get a chip kill? Can we get another another chip kill? We roll forward perfectly! We roll, no, 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 kill! And we committed to an option at the last moment, wow. just as the active frame did not like this! We went all out. Kilvin's bacon on the fact that Professor Nekatech would just sit there and not do anything too scared to press a button because they're both at a pixel, but Professor Nekatech did not give a flying for doodle. Hit him with the ultimate arrow. She was so Kelvin's again with the character swap. This time selling on Lancelot. There was not too much, I think. I'm trying to think of like Siegfried's combo writing. Actually, he had access to the ultimate skill uh, down down. So had he routed into that, that probably would have been the last little bit of damage that he needed at the very mm -hmm. end to get that kill. Slight miss routing. We are back onto Lancelot, which you saw Kelvin's plate in the ladder bracket. First time in top eight. So let's see how this one goes. Back throw into the Nico Tech now has the turn. We bait out the DP. Ready for the follow-up hit as well. And yo, look at this. We got the seal launchers too. Oh, this is damage. 
Oh my gosh, what a read from Necrotex. Bro, you're not going anywhere, my guy. Get these plus on block range, hold. Brave counter, I don't want to hold this no more. Get off of me. And back kind of going back it up. The blocks again. Oh, I'm fully jumped. Try to get him out of there. Kilvin's pixel in a dream. But Kilvin's not going to head over that pixel so lightly. But there we go. We'll finally get it. Battle Professor Necrotech sitting at that point. Kilvin is down to his, his last possible choice. Finally going back with the Lancelot. Bread and butter as far as I know. Oh my god. Wow, you got red. Yo, man. I don't want to oh, be the kind of guy that calls a corner too soon, but I might have a body to deliver for y'all. Oh, Kilvin's yeah. trying to fight it. Oh, we be chilling. Kilvin's trying to skip neutral, trying to move towards his way inside. Ultimate arrow would get jumped over. Professor Knuckles is down two BP, so we'll take a lot of damage if he gets clipped even one time. The range is Kilvin a little bit off. Kilvin doesn't have that many resources. Chilling. We we're playing it nice and safe, trying to get any sort of dash buttons. Oh my! Oh, okay. Full screen slice. You know what? I've had I've had enough of of a of a cleanse zone. Just jumping right in. Punish. Ultimate Full arrow. Screen. Coming in last second. <laughs> exactly. I just do it all the time. I had <laughs> time. Tempai Spider with the material. Have a nice day. Stick with the Gita. I believe these two fought earlier. I, was, I could be wrong. I'm I'm at the I'm at the double check real quick. But I think have a nice day. Did. Beat Senpai Spider in the ladder. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty like sure. Well, I mean, I remember they ran into each other, and Have a Nice Day hasn't dropped a game. So, yeah. So, we gotta see what Have a Nice Day has. Y'all, if we're letting Mateus get this far, we need to be more like Have a Nice Day. We need to put an end to this witchery. We need to stop getting caught up in her quote unquote mix ups and her quote unquote zoning. You hear me, quote you simp? Quote. quote unquote. That's what we call it these days. Yep, have a nice day. Did beat a Senpai Spider 2 to 1. A little bit of scrambles results in a raw raging strike hitting. Have a nice day. They're going to link off of the ultimate skill fireball. Get the kill as well. All right, have a nice day. Just still on his team roll. Getting first round here in the winner's finals. Huh? Good roll through, but we're able to check we'll get parsley punished. Oh, we mash. Uh, uh -huh. We'll pick up here as well. Launch him back. Brave counter, trying to find our next opening. It's not coming easy. Oh my goodness. Bro, that counter hit and you converted? Oh. Have a nice day. As he goes for the kill, yes, sir. You ever just die and just say, Have a nice day? Just pull up Taking have a nice game Gita. one. Victory. Taking one. game one. God damn. Engage. Yeah, bro, the longest, sword. Why you got a hitbox of a Claymore? <laughs> the longest short sword of all time. <laughs> the shorty long sword or the long short sword? Pick one. It's like freaking Gin's Bankai and Bleach, you know, just. <laughs> Just go on the entire length of the world or whatever. <laughs> right, mad OD, by, dude. That ain't right. Zip by Splatter, able to get a little bit of mid screen zoning off. But Half a Nice Day, just the sheer patient movement from Half a Nice Day, able to just negate all of it and just slowly walk their way inside. I'm taking a good chunk of damage as well. Oh, Ultimate Fireball, able to get past the butterflies as well. Mm -hmm. He's really trying to snuff out. Fun. Senpai Spider from like using those butterflies to any effect, right? Like, listen, if you this is about the timing where you have to shoot something, so I'm gonna smother you with this fast, huge ultimate fireball so that you can't activate those seals. Really great decision making from Have a Nice Day. Flash. Okay, we had the better cancel. We get a jump in hit. This is big for Senpai. Not really making much of it. You know, maybe a skybound route was something that was available or. Using Raging Strike, right? That might have been something we could cash out to kill, but Senpai wasn't either Ooh, reacting what? to it or feeling it. We get it this time. 
the last second cross up. Have a nice day trying to roll in, but not expecting the air dash. Zip by Spider with the pace changes, able to get a little bit of some, some started going on. Well, again, Hit. the rolls getting punished. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. More than they continue to play this slow. Wait for their fireballs. Senpai going to answer back with their own. Everybody's spending the EX version, so fireballs are on cooldown. Been slow, patient play. Oh, Have a nice day. Oh, beat it. Looking at a ton of damage. Senpai Spider really trying to bust down on the player that's willing to walk from full screen to close the gap against Matera. That's yeah. crazy. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, sir. Cash out with the super. Take away a BP point as well. But just you get the force of two for one trade. Go for the simple safe job. Respectable. Oh. Senpai Spider trying to spot those. Have a nice day. Fireball. Not quite able to time it just right. Now we live a pixel away. Right, and now we're in out. chip range. Yep. Chip. Have a nice day. Tying it up in rounds. We're still only in game two, buddy. That's how much these two are duking it out right now. No. Have a nice day is really good at playing the slow game of neutral. More than comfortable to let that 99 second timer on the clock run down. It's like, listen, I don't have to. I'm not trying to speed run this game. I'm not losing time. I'm not trying to get a gold. I just need that health bar to hit zero. Oh, too far for the raging strike. Ooh, yeah, Unfortunate drop. Oh, oh, blade oh, for the combo. One. one BP one left on the side of Have a Nice Day. Reversal super Over on the super. gap. Crazy. It gets two points back. Just what they were looking for. Great defense there from Have a Nice exactly. Day. A nice tech from Senpai. These two are blow for blow so far. Spot dodge. That was sick. Yep. Hold this. Acid rain. Jump. We check oh, him with the 2M. Within the legs. They clash, oh, the spot clash dodge, into immediate spot dodge. The pass fight is ready. Look at this trading blow for blow, but Senpai oh. finally gets that next hit. It's 1 1 for these two players. Dropping the heel as an anti air. You got a long sword, I got long legs. Men like one of these things. Yep. Actually, men like both of these things. Let's be real, guys. Why not both? Why not both? Exactly. You know, like. I know y'all Berserk fans out there. Y'all love that Dragon Slayer sword. I sure as hell do. Oh, it's had a one to one. Have a nice day. We'll land in the ultimate fireball. But the wake up third from Simpai Spider will get them out the corner. Simpai is just trying to walk him. This game walked down. Again, well, have slow and steady day. wins the race. Ultimate record start from heaven. I say, just look at the damage. Yeah, three BP by the way. It's oh, still get the empty low. Gonna get a launcher as well with the seals, and so now sent by Spider able to equalize the health. Check him at the ankles. Any hit might do it here. We block the cross up, and the delayed buttons baiting out the brave counter. Have a nice day up around here in game three. Corner position. Senpai Spider trying to work their way out of it. Underneath. Okay, time again. Have a nice day. More than willing to just chill in this neutral space, right? Oh, a nice a neutral one. jump. Oh, oh my goodness. That was so god. That was what hella clean. It's a big jump and punish as well for Senpai Spider being greedy enough to go for a Oh throw. no. And there it is again. The perfect read oh. on the reversal. Have a nice day. We'll move up two to one over Senpai Spider so far. So far, an exact repeat of their set in the ladder. But have a nice day. Took a two to one, but this is top eight, so they do get a one more game. Is that gonna be enough for Senpai Spider to complete the run back? Just have a nice day. Gonna show what they're made of. Only one way to truly find out. And that's by watching here, right now, with all of yep. us here at the Paragon Line. Hi, guys. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's Friday, my guys. Oh, get Monk in the head with the 667. Have a nice day. All right, putting the hurt on the set by spot. Already down 2 BP. We just essentially got started. Able to check some of this offense. Have a nice day. Trying to get some sort of Gatling option out. 
chilling. Bay back, respecting the X Fireball. We get a punish as well in the second part of the Vorpal Blade. Nice five and we're guys. Out. Nice movement from Senpai. Not but the moon nice is gonna enough. have a nice day. Chasing down the hover to the perfect point to get a punish counter or counter hit 6XL. Insane. Set point here for have a nice day. Can anyone stop this man? Can anyone stop this man? Someone get this man have a nice day off the sticks. He's cooking too well. Apparently undefeated. 9-0. Can he make it 10-0? He's so close yet so far. Right, take up here. Out. Plenty of damage. Runs the meaty in there. Something spider can hold. One, two fireballs and have a nice day. Now getting absolutely sauced on. I wanted to see more of that combo. That was sick. 2H2. Way too vertical it seems. Mash on wake up. It works out this time for Senpai. Oh, ultimate fireball gets slammed out from have a nice day. We got the supreme range and firepower here. We control the full screen, not oh, you. Oh, ultimate DP. The boss fire hanging on for dear life right now. Nice patience from Heaven. I say choosing not to overcommit when they don't need to. Spire slowing oh, it down. Gets the convert. Six and seven gets whiff punished. Simple Spire staying alive so far. Trying to take us to a game five. Can he do it? Can they complete it? One more round. We have ourselves to game five. Pushing this Jita towards the butterflies. We finally pick a moment of the DB. It's gonna work out great. Full combo as well. Oh my god. Like and some... what a mash! Somehow have a nice day was like point blank right next to Senpai Spider. A little curse situation. Senpai gets some relief. Checking this Jita's offense. Get off of me, brave counter. Spot dodge, not able to get a punish on the counter hit frames. Oh, nice movement from Have a Nice Day. Staying outside of the heel drop range. Oh, not quite able to get the air there. Have a Nice Day down to 1 BP. This is bad. Except by Spire slowly turning it around. Trying to find the next hit. Oh, the Fireball coming clutch. Oh, but we fade back. Sent by Spider. North neutral check, but we get win. Oh, oh my gosh. No BP left of the time sent by Spider. Oh, he doesn't. No BP left. 50% extra damage coming in at the very end. Why did she die? Right now. <laughs> simply you got it anyway, but holy shit. Look at the semifinals. Oh, oh. So hope y'all like seeing uh, Matera, because you're about to see Matera again. Professor Negotech taking on Lunar with the Cagliostro. You got Cornball 1 versus Cornball 2. Oh, only one we'll timeline? Where we don't see Matera for the last four sets of our night, and that's if Lunar cooks both Professor N Nikotech yep. and Senpai Spider. We got to see though. First up, Nikotech. I hope y'all like watching Matera. Because we are in it for the long haul. Another DB coming out from, from Professor Nikotech. Sniping out Lunar left and right. Loving the pages from, from Necrotech, they know they don't need to overcommit, so we can just sit back and relax and let the teleports do their thing and try to whip punish the reaction. But Lunar's able to kind of slowly run their way inside, but not quite fast enough. Dodge the ultimate skill fireball, not ready to dodge the follow-up attack as well. I think we were trying to set up something on Lunar's end and we got counter hit out of it, so a little bit of patience goes a long way, but everybody wants to swing and play their game. Blocks the calculated. Trying to send in more of these heavy rains. Not sure why I said heavy rains. I think I was thinking acid rain, heavy arrows. Kind of came out together to. Whichever one remembers heavy rain. Uh -huh. right. Catch him. Oh my gosh, catching clipping him in the legs. Lunar. Big combo opportunity for Lunar. The bounce here, calculated. Get the setup here. Ooh. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Oh man. Only get clipped out of the end. Battle three. 
Man, all tied up and around so far. Or just duping it out. Pick him up, fail him out. Pulling on to this pressure. Lunar's trying to make it slow. What a sweep to you call out. Now we get the throw. Trap set up. Full pick up here off the Alexandria. This not going to be enough. Teleport going for something cute, but Lunar's going to find the jabs, convert into the Raging Strike. Should be around here. And Lunar up game one. All right. All right. Believe in victory. Way looking kind of clean so far. Nice jab there by Nico. Not really letting any teleport shenanigans stand in this household. Not in this neutral. Non teleport household. Thank you very much. We don't do that here. As the rain point lunar on the lockdown. Oh, nice air right here. Yeah. Stop the shenanigans. Nico Tech demonstrating just great awareness of. Reacting to the teleports. Respecting that one there, just to be safe. Catch him with a jab. Luna now gets some offense started. Oh my gosh. He's barely whipping out, we're gonna whip it out. Oh, we just gonna match him. Oh my gosh, oh, eighth gear will come in clutch. Luna is so close, just these dodge chips. Trying to dodge the butterfly, we'll let him to get clipped. Call it 6XL. Okay. Oh my goodness, Lunar, what you trying to throw? Don't try to throw me, how dare? Oh, we bait out the Brave counter as well. Intercept the teleport, says, why are you there? Now you're hella negative. Stop that. Oh my lord, the DP from that range of snipe out the jump, that was sexy. Give it up to Nico Tech. Playing this round immaculately. Just one more hit. Should be all it takes. For real, for real now. Chip range. Can't navigate Ooh. that storm. Clip. Nico Tech. Tying it up one to one so far. Believe in victory. These two are duking it out. They be throwing the hand back and forth. Trying to get into that top three spot of our top eight. Winner of this will, of course, be going up against Sent by Spider, which would either lead us to a Matera Mirror match or Lunar's second uh, Matera of the night. So far, things looking pretty good for Lunar. Got plenty of Skybound Gauge. Nikotech about to hit that 50% threshold. Crosses it now, so DP is on the board, but oh my gosh, the setups. Brother, every teleport intercepted. Spot dodging, but it's the yeah. second one that'll get you. That's mean. That's so mean. What does it be like that? We're gonna send the arrow. But nah, fam, get that out of here. Too far away. Lunar. That arrow fly. Lunar trying to take us two to one. Trying to take a switch lead and say, trying to take a back. Okay. Empty low off of the setup. Hold on. So this check on the throw. Nice and simple. Okay, that's how you want to do it. That's how I want to do it. Trap set up. Look for second Neko Tech, not even close to it. We were having a little bit of trouble trying to get anything started. The traps don't come nearly as useful when they simply don't have to get near you to activate. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that calculation. Able to actually intercept the full screen, and now Lunar closing the gap. Trying to get the kill here with the Raging Strike sequence. Does so. 2 1 for Lunar now. Believe in victory. Battle 1. Also, y'all, I just, I just finally read what Lunar's in-game name is, and that's the funniest shit I've read. Alright, Lunar, trying to run it home. See if he can send Professor Nekotech hacking. 
Okay, if Cal was just really reading a book in the middle of all that projectile stuff, like, what spell am I gonna use? Hey, but you gotta do what you, what, what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Right, you know, like, you know, the arrow's flying around really great the sense of ambience, you know? He pulls oh, yeah. me into the world <laughs> of this recipe. I get really now, popping off too, you know? Mm hmm. Set point okay, here for Lunar. Yes, sir. Can Lunar close it out? And if they do, they just have, have to go up against another Matera. Right, and you had to be ready for them to play at a different tempo. Yep. Their own rhythm. Ooh, Might have to be an guys. adjustment or something. Like that. Are we blocking it out? We're having a little bit of trouble trying to move more because Neck is doing a good job of changing up the pace. We'll get the air dash as well. Okay, so now Lunar with the super jump got a bit too obvious with it. We'll get anti air DP will whiff too. Let like that Lunar back up against the wall. DP will connect this time though. What a match, but not quite going to be going to be able to get the kill. Lunar now one touch away. Oh, but the trap still coming in clutch. Necrotech trying to match. Hits, finds it at still the very matching. end. Necrotech still matching. Not a care in the world. Yeah, all time I don't succeed, I'm going to mash even harder. That's all you have to do, chat. You think about and that. Necro and Necrotech take us to a game five. You find out. They have to draw all this pressure here from Lunar so far. We get the jump through. Hard knockdown off of the Brave counter. And so now Necrotech gets the turn. Lunar, though, with a big, big pickup. That shimmy this time, bro. We, we went to layer three and a half. Oh boy. Jab check him. Nice spot dodge into, into punish. Lunar is still a little set point, by the way. But they can definitely close this all and use one solid touch up close. And he goes trying to, keep... to flirt with that range. There's Lunar there's trying there. to check. Lunar trying to check the toes a little bit. Fireball, keep it alive. the next one. We're trying to use the special calculation. We run into the fireballs. No, no confirm though. He's still alive. Oh, try to spot dodge, but miss have the spot dodge. One touch for both players here. Calculation. Oh my gosh, the track. The next hit. That is it. Lunar takes it as super, super close set. Oh man. Looking to get their chance to take the throne. Sinus Pass Fire will go with the Andre. But you know what? Lunar did pretty well against the Matera matchup, so that's time to hit with the Andre. Go with the Rock Shots. All right, Senpai said, listen, you're warmed up for Matera. It's time to bring out the secret sauce. I'm going to get a win with this character on stream. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Got you. Let him know with the Rock Shots. Oh, oh my god, what is here? But no pickup from that. That's rather unfortunate. Not sure if a spell, special move is on cooldown for Senpai, or. You know, we just maybe didn't have it on deck. One of these. Pringles Mag skips neutral, whiff punishes the dodge. Ugh. Senpai Spider running them down. So Mr. Pringles really trying to let him know, bro? Is this the one game that we get to see this Andre win, actually? That'd be crazy. Hey, all you need is one game sometimes. Trying to make our approaches. Loving the pitch. Pushed in. Spider, though. Nice. Another beautiful jump throw bait. Full pickup as well now, Lunar. Tag him. And then the scramble is a full pickup from Lunar here. Bring him down from the skies. Drop oh! Him. Wow, he him. got schmixed. Got schmixed. Yo, he said fiddle sticks. <laughs> My favorite League of Judge and Champion <laughs> rework. <laughs> Alright, all tied up in rounds. Lunar's definitely showing that they will strike back against the Iron Ray. Still struggling against the Rakshasas. We are spot dodging. We're doing great at dealing with all this stuff. I mean, you know, on rate, a little different tempo, but some similar, similar attributes to uh, the Terra. The huge full screen presence. And oh, nice here. Mm -hmm. 
Both Senpai and Professor Nikotech were pretty much ready for a lot of these teleport shenanigans that Luna was trying to bring in. Oh, yeah. so. At that oh. range, brother. Two for one trade. Oh, oh nice. You just spent to hit both sides. I able to get the full kill, though. That could have been something so one. sick. Another range. Only needs one touch. Can they squeeze out a hit somewhere? Yes, they can. Hit him with the straight up dive kick pool. And Senpai Spider will take game one with the on risk. If you went for a throw or if you didn't meet me and you went for a low, then this dive kick is going to punish both of those options. A good, great call out there by Senpai. He's to hit him in the face. Launcher here, full pickup. So two infinity. Does he say and beyond? Because if so, I think we got, we got a lot <laughs> on our hands. That's, it. That's something called a trademark, my friend. Oh, Simpa Spark, not cooking right now. Hold on, the pressure's coming in big. Oh, I oh, like that to change the jump trajectory. And the timing is nice well. Simpa Spark. No confirm, though. Oh, there goes the perfect, by the way. So close, yeah, so far. Oh. Okay. So I have, oh, I'm directly to the throw. That's cheap. That was like a half screen throw. You really closed the I know, gap. I was like, what I'm gonna tuck this. I was like, what the heck? Fighting game jump scares. Fight <laughs> our way back. Lunar. Frame trap. Not able to get a pickup. Spare body. Right back out. Ooh. Nice try to catch Lunar trying to jump out of the pressure. Said, nah, what you jumping out for? But hold the Schmix. Hold the Schmix or hold the damage. Take your choice. Beautiful air to air as well. Always ready for those teleport plays from Lunar. So my spider really sort of taking away that option. So Lunar has to find a better way to navigate this stuff. We don't get a jump in. A little bit of offense running through, but just great hold there from Senpai. Not really getting overly anxious or anything. Okay, that's some, that's some yeah. spaghetti. Who's got the sauce? Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow. Chipping him out slowly. Nice. Lunar gets caught trying to press. Spot dodge. That was so sick. And the air as well. Every time Senpai Spire just says, What are you doing up there, little girl? It's dangerous. You could fall and get hurt. Amazing ants here. Yeah. All right, Senpai Spider only needs one more game. Bro, so much magic. So much fire. And air, it's perfect. Baiting out the reversals, getting these punishes down. Luna really feeling like they're playing without half their character's kit. Spot dodge again. A little bit of armor right there for the parry. Chip range. Oh my god. It's so active. It whipped and then it went again. <laughs> Senpai Spider is sitting at set point now. Looking to get the run back against Have a Nice Day. Can they complete it out? One more round, brother. All you gotta do. I simply believe in the dream. Alright, but Luna is still fighting back, though. Get a good chunk of damage off. Oh He's my rich. god, Senpai Spider. So ready for the answer. If I ain't able to get too much from them, we'll still get a little something. something. Oh, catch some matches. That should Pick be it. That goes directly into Super. No, no, we spent the bar on the Raging. Uh, oh, yeah, chains. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go, just, go, just go do it three times, bro. Make us watch it. I guess that's a okay. Looking kind of hot right now. The question is can anyone stop having a nice day? Currently on a 10 game win streak. And set one streak. Here we go. Someone's gotta stop him. Ooh, what did it be? It's, perhaps it's have a nice day themselves, ending the bracket. Only one way to find out. So already seeing a little bit, already seeing things a little bit differently. So Fire is playing a little bit slower right now. Mm -hmm. Get 6XL though, and now have a nice day gets to explode on this health bar. Oh. 
Lay the throw tech right. Oh my gosh, okay, that's a bit of a, that's a huge change in the matchup right there, just having that meterless option to rip through those fireballs that DJ uh, Gita wants to put out, but a beautiful jump in. Now I have a nice day. Taking the corner, we mash on Wake Up. And we get meaty on Wake Up. Oh, well, look at the damage. He's dead. Unless. Unless. Oh, no, he's definitely dead. Bro, why does that Kamehameha do so much damage? That last projectile be hurting in terms of damage. Have a nice day. Striking first blood in the grand finals right now. Some fireball in. We're oh, nice whiff punish on the dive kick. My goodness. Beautiful 6 6 out. Take him all the way to the corner as well. Oh, whiff punish. Him in here. Oh, okay. Can't whiff punish the DP though. So we get the beautiful shimmy using our movement to bait out the throw. It's going to be like a 60 70% damage combo here. Once again, the same situation, delaying the throw tech. Have a nice day, up to 1 0. Two rounds in a row. Yes, sir. That's one. Step by step with the immediate rematch. No waiting. Can't get worried too much because this is exactly how all of their last sets went. I would say it took game one, the Senpai Spy would normally take game two. Right, but that was with Matera at the front line, so now it's Onre, so Senpai Spider hedging it all on this pocket character. Oh, that's a Rekka starter. Oh, you know, let's get a Rekka starter. That's going to be a good amount of damage. Double two, so let's keep it simple. Much respect. Frame trapping, catching Senpai Spider wiggling. That is something that is going to be consistent no matter what character they play. That at some point, they want to stop locking. I can't blame them. That shit sucks. Uh, cashing out with the super, the short version. Only one more touch from Half Nice Day to take the round. Wow. Three rounds in a row. I think we're nearly at chip range here for Senpai Spider. Oh, media DP. What a reaction. Senpai Spider is just cooking way too much right now. Have a nice day on another level tonight. Trying to fish out the next couple of hits. We get a big whip punish here, sent by Spider. Not really gonna be able to capitalize too much on the damage, seems like. Now have a nice day. Bombo into the corner. Tick throw this time. We're trying to layer up the offense, add a different mental stack into the fray. Now we're in full control. Uh -huh. This is my spider trying to fight their way out. Oh, just gonna bust out. Gap. Leaving a gap against Have a Nice Day, you should know better. Have a you nice know day. Better. I think has a 100% hit rate on these reversals. Just knowing the exact moment when to throw them out, that is such a hard thing to fight against. Yes, sir. Get the blocks in. Have a Nice Day is getting close and closer to chip out range. Ooh, that was almost a whip on this show. Have a nice day. We will get clipped by the spin. Sip on Spider, standing up. Ooh, six is still no whip punish, however, from Sip on Spider. Oh, a that DP gets baited. Hate to see it. Yeah, but very minimal damage on Sip yeah. Spider's end of things, right? Whereas, you know, you think about Have a Nice Day whenever they get the hit. I mean, it's like you die. 50%. Yeah. Yeah, cashing out on the big boy damage. Oh, that was a close range. 5 8. That's going to be a ton of damage. Uh, they do are waiting on some cooldowns, though. Yeah, combo limit reach. One more touch is all have, is all have a nice day in needs. Excellent tech. By sent by Spider to avoid that situation. We're sending it again and again and again. Ultimate Vorpal What a blade. whip we... punish. So Simple I... Spider tried to do it to him. Simple Spider tried to do it to him. I respect that throw attempt. But Have Nice Day was way too rare for that. Have Nice Day now sitting at set point. Already up 2-0 in Grand Finals. Looks like we will probably see the swap to Matera. Mm -hmm. and this is it. Even if Simple Spider is able to get this game, he will be locked in with this Matera at least for the next three games. Which I do like it honestly more. I felt like their control of the neutral was strong 
have a nice day, had the patience really to get them to lull themselves into a false sense of like security. Like, okay, maybe now I can throw out this option just to explode with the right pick, the right read, the right jump in. But you know, Senpai Spider, I think this is their star character. Yep. So let's get weaving webs here. If have a nice day wants to get us done tonight, they can end the set now, but let's see if Senpai Spider has it in him to reverse sweep with this Matera. And now it's also a very promising start. Pressure's coming in. Then Flash Fire gets caught trying to press. Look at all the damage that's starting to pile up. Have a nice day trying to kill you for each and every mistake that you make. No second chances. But here we go. Huge pickup here from Senpai Spider. The terror is already locked and dialed in. You love to see it, but have a nice day. Perfectly navigating so many of these projectiles with these forward evasions. Eat the DP. back and forth trying to bait something out have a nice day playing it nice and slow we'll get the roll nice spot dodge on the fireball as well Ooh. one two all right yeah some expenditure one two special but a big anti air here from senpai it's gonna lead into the round good stuff from senpai spider staying alive in the set so far yeah, i'm not out of it just yet man I'm still here and I'm still kicking. Oh my goodness. Are they able to convert much after that? Wait for the brave counter. With the blocks on it. Mm -hmm. We take the turn with the brave counter and now sent by Spider. Again, getting these nice anti airs, slowing the game pace down to something they're comfortable with. Have a nice day having to find the right answer through this. Again, their forward rolls. Very clean, looking incredibly sharp and on point, but sent by Spider, able to still keep taking advantage of oh, what a nice TP in reaction. Yeah, TP well. it again. Full conversion as well. Look at all that damage too. And we'll cash out with the super. Take away another BP, but sent by Spider. He is in SSBA range. Have a nice day, gonna safe jump this. Playing the Have a nice day, try to bait out something. Try to bait out DP, guard cancel or something. But nothing will come. I have a nice day. Now sits at set point as they clip Senpai Spider trying to mash out. I feel like a Senpai Spider who was not facing have a nice day would have sent either their DP or the Super Skybound art as a reversal to try and take advantage of that situation. But knowing that have a nice day has been incredibly on point with Baby. their reads for when the reversal is coming. They yep. had to hold and had to respect it. Just immaculate to see that psychology at work. Ooh, we'll get clips out press, but no, not gonna do much. Oh! Jump section. Really whiffing. Too well to catch the shimmy back. Have to hold the fireball. There you go, a little bit of life here from Senpai. Ooh, Spy Thoughts will get cooked though. Good tech on the throw. Senpai Spire fighting for the tournament life right now. Trying to take at least a game. Back nice oh day. my gosh. Trying to get close enough to these 6-6 six, six L's to be a true threat. So my spider gonna win the ultimate skill war. And Ooh, air with the two heavy! It's air we will got come the in. seal! A yep. game on the board for Senpai. Alright, Senpai Spider striking back right now. I get two to one. Believe in victory. The immediate Battle rematch from half a nice day. Engage. So you know what? I'm not letting it face me. I'm hopping right back into it. Here, sent by Spider. I think is trying to. I think they're finding that correct rhythm to where they're going to be able to call out, have a nice day correctly, not let them get started. DP here, full launch, full combo. Go take again. It's the same situation over and over again. Oh we my! Jump in now. Back on head. Full launcher as well. This is sick. Ooh, we catch the forward oh hole. The Fast Fire is starting to turn up the heat. The pace mm -hmm. of the game is starting to change now. And look at this too, you know, you're looking at some of these hits and you would imagine maybe Sent by Spider would want to spend a brave point on a raging strike at the full extension. Really all of it, he's saving that until he has a kill opportunity. We'd rather have those points on deck for when they need to play defense. Yep. Like loving the overall patience, respect the butterfly. We'll get clipped at the very end though. The roll, oh my goodness, have a nice day, got the hit that he needed. 
Big damage here. Going into the Super Skybound art. Bahama. We're out of. The question is, are they still alive? The Terra Man. Nope. All right. Glad I answered my own question very quickly. I was not keeping track of the BP, not gonna lie. But have a nice day. Now sitting at tournament point yet again. Senpai Spider was in full control of that round, but then just one little mistake was all it took for have a nice day to close it out and completely steal a round out from under him. One of those things where you, maybe that's where you look at Matera in terms of her life total, where she can maintain an entire lead for like 50 seconds, but one interaction, it's all blown out of the water and gone. Yep. That's truly all you need. Oh, good tech on the throw though. Oh, but the six is still coming in from Have a Nice Day. Have a Nice Day is looking to seal the deal and take us Oh, All needs is one more touch. One <laughs> final shimmy at the very end. How many times have they thrown at the exact timing on that exact situation, all leading to that last interaction to close out the tournament? Have a nice day. Thank you. I will.